Hi. Okay. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, we we I, we did this talk. Yeah, I guess we did this. <laughs> I was like, are we gonna do it again? <laughs> um, can you introduce yourself and like say your name, yeah. your age, and your year in SAIC? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Juliana Lee, 21, and I guess I'm like a senior credit wise, but a junior class wise, I guess, because I transferred. So, and then I'm in the fashion department as of now. Mm-hmm. It's like my main. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Why did you originally come to SAIC? Oh wait, did you say your age? Yeah, 21. Uh, okay, I guess that's a longish story, but I'll just like explain it. Um, so I was at Loyola Chicago before, which is just like down in Rogers Park, um, like North. And so I was a biochem major and then I switched my, major. like I was a double major with Soch and then I had an art minor and it was a lot, I was like pre-med and I didn't, um, I was taking some classes like STEM classes and I realized I wasn't like really happy with that I sort of wanted to go into something else um that was the whole thing but yeah I was looking for art schools and I applied to some that were like in like Parsons in New York and like SCAD and FIDM which those were like FIDM was a whole scam I didn't like that but um yeah I just wanted to stay in Chicago I guess just because I had friends already and it was close to home so, and then SKC like gave me a pretty good scholarship and like grant. So I was like, okay, I'll go here. I wasn't really, it was like a really fast decision because I had applied like at the end of, like almost close to the end of second semester. And I had like toured and I saw you when I was touring. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, but yeah, I liked the tour and it was really nice. It was chill. And so I thought that it would be the right choice for me. Mm-hmm. I didn't honestly know that much about the school. I sort of like went on a whim. I feel like I tried to research as much as I could, but even then I wasn't really sure like how the fashion department worked. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I guess that's why I chose like location and just like the resources they had and like the school location. Okay. Um, how was it transferring in though? Um, because you're was... my you're my first transfer student I'm interviewing. Really? Mm-hmm. Hey. Um, yeah, it was difficult. So I didn't really have a portfolio at all. Like it was pretty empty because I hadn't taken like a lot of um, studio art classes in high school. It was a lot of STEM classes. So I guess when I had gotten to Loyola, I, I like did it in the art minor and then that helped me like build a portfolio, but that was pretty challenging. I didn't go to any portfolio days, which I know like people plan for. Mm-hmm. And so that was just all like sort of just like doing it and then I just turned it in I like I had submitted it and asked for help from like teachers here but transferring wise like once I transferred um I don't know it felt like I didn't really go to orientation <laughs> I was supposed to but I did it because I was like I don't want to do it again um so maybe that would have helped me more but the one class that like I guess like was specifically for transfers that was nice was my research class it was like research core before transfers Mm -hmm. so like everyone in that class I transferred so that was nice but yeah it was like hard to adjust at first I didn't know how to do anything I didn't know how to print I was like how do you print at the school I was so confused um but yeah I think like end up feeling like fine later on of course like after like settling in but it was I think resource wise like I don't think maybe I didn't use as much resource as I could have for transfer students Mm-hmm. That's just my experience, so, like, I didn't reach out as much, I guess, like, with orientation or, like, I, I'm sure they have, like, um, transfer student, like, meetings and stuff, but, mm-hmm. yeah, I just sort of, like, took it on my own to, like, figure out what to do at the school, but, yeah. What about, like, because you, because you were, a fra- like, you were a sophomore at Loyola, right? Yeah, and, and I was going to become a junior, but and then, then I was a yeah, and then you, like, but you also applied to the um, fashion program, like, as you yeah. transferred in, which, like, not many people oh, yeah. have experience with. Can you talk about that, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I f- okay, I forget to say. So, the summer that I was, co- like, was really deciding to come to SAC, I took a class there. It was, like, fashion intro with Bambi. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, that class helped me, because I actually was really confused on the fashion department. I was like, wait, what's the core program? And then, like, they also had like something outside of fashion so I was like confused on the two differences 
at first, but yeah, Bambi had explained it saying that there was a separate portfolio for that. And I was like, oh great, <laughs> there's a portfolio. So, but like after I took that class in the summer, there was a deadline like in August, I believe, for like people who are transfers oh. or want to like reply again who got denied, I think. Mm -hmm. So that's when I had applied for that and then ended up getting in. And that's when like I sort of like, because I looked up before that the core program is more structured, I guess, and has that like, you know, sequence. So yeah, that's how I like got into that. So it really helped in the summer class. So Bambi's class like helped you because that was like that's intro. So her class yeah. helped you with like your application. Yeah, sort of. I used some of my illustrations from that class. That class was nice because it was in the summer, so it was really chill. Mm -hmm. I feel like I didn't get a feel at all of how fashion would have been in that class, but that's also because the core is like more intense during the semester. Yeah. But yeah, it helped me like build a portfolio because I had like taken some illustrations from there and like like fixed them and like worked on them more mm -hmm. before I reapply like for apply so that did help i would like would ish recommend it i mean if people already have a portfolio and have like illustrations i would just go for it without taking that class because it was extra money mm -hmm. um and they don't they didn't really like, provide housing or anything so i had to like figure that out but yeah it was it was still like i felt like it benefited me in terms of because i was just like i don't know what i'm doing so yeah I, yeah oh yeah okay what about, um, let's see, what is my next question? Well, since it's your, um, well, actually, before I ask that question, what are you planning? I don't know if we've talked about this before. I feel like we might have in class. Um, yeah. For those potentially watching, Juliana and I are in the same class for fashion. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, are you going to stay an extra year or are you going to graduate next year? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that was confusing because I was like really trying to figure that out. Um, like, do you have enough credits I, to graduate next year? Yeah. So I think if I were to graduate next year, I would have to really like push it and take a summer class, which I'm not doing this year because they're like online. And I don't know. I don't feel like that would like be like I wouldn't want that. Um, and then I would have to take like winter classes. And then um, I think maybe I would just make it. Mm -hmm. So I, I tried contacting academic advising but then they didn't get back to me. I think that's my fault, though. I should have kept contacting them, but I never did. So I think I might end up... I don't know if you can, like, graduate a semester early. Like, I'm honestly... You can. Like, it's late. like... It depends. Um, like, some some fashion students um, graduated the fashion program, for instance, but they didn't graduate school. So, like, yeah, like they had, like, their they were, like, a senior in the program, but then they still had things to finish up for, for school. But then there are also people that like, um, like transfer in, and then, like, are you are you trying to like are you saying like graduate like a semester early, as like a senior, or are you saying graduate with, like, like only doing like one more semester after fashion? Oh, I, as a senior, I guess. So like in the. So like you'd be done in fall. Yeah, in the fall. This I fall. I guess a senior year. No, senior. I guess. I guess your senior year, so like you know when when we we're like doing the fashion. Oh, okay. So you okay, okay. So maybe just to clear it up. So what you're saying is like, um, you fi you finish fashion as a junior, and then you do one more semester outside of fashion, like in school, to finish up your last credits. Yeah. Yeah. I I, yeah. I that's possible. That, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of graduating the the core a year early. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, you that's can be, a possibility too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you can be a graduating junior and then you get to be in the fashion show and then um you graduate from the program and then um you do like your last semester. If like cuz especially if you only have one semester left, like what's the point? Cuz yeah. like you can't do fashion with you you have fashion is fashion core is like each semester like both semesters interlock with each other so you can't only yeah. do one. So, yeah, I mean, I maybe maybe talk to, like, Jimmy? Yeah, I should definitely contact them, because I've only talked to, like, academic advising outside of the department. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, okay. So, how do you feel with fashion so far? <laughs> After being <laughs> thrusted into it? You know, um, oh god, you see me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... Okay, I guess I, I think, like, I'm really hoping that this year, I mean, it's going to take a lot on me, so I can't just hope I have to, like, put it into fruition, that I'll just sort of, like, know what I want more. I think sophomore year, 
Well, well it was I mean, hard. You like you you were like you were like thrown into a deep sea of water of fashion. Yeah. And like. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So that's what I think. This might be different for other people because my background in fashion, I had like done, I had like sewn, but not like I hadn't really patterned, and so that was really new to me. Like more so the technical stuff and doing illustrations. Like I just sort of do it, and like at least that's my past experience with it, and it's not that like advanced. Mm-hmm. So going into it, it was really difficult especially I think like not that like I don't think it's a bad thing but for me I feel like I think some people directly know exactly like the vision in their head and the style that they always want and so it's like they can execute it but for me like I don't I think I'm still figuring out like what I really like and so that was really hard especially in designing because I would always be like I would make something and, and and because like SEC goes with the concept I would get too stuck in the concept almost and to the point where I was like putting out things that were conceptually with the concept but I didn't like like technically or like the way it looked so that was weird for me at first I think I'm still trying to figure like the balance out between the two um and like connecting the concept and the garment together Mm -hmm. but yeah that's that was in yeah Ben's class was design which I was still trying to get used to and then also Yoshi's of course it's like construction so that was really new to me but um I think that one is more is something that I'm getting used to better and not as stressed about. Uh, You're really good so at your like, patterns, I think so. Really? You make know. complicated <laughs> patterns. <laughs> like your like your final patterns. project? You like you you try to experiment with like that even just like not even your final project. Like you would try like you cuz you bought the you bought those books like the Oh yeah. Like the I forgot I'm I'm blanking Pattern, Pattern on Magic or something. Yeah. And like you tried them out and like I bought the books, and I was trying, I think, one of them, like, at the end of, like, spring semester. That was hard, though. The, the one with the holes in it? Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah. But still, like, great. you, you, like, you put in the effort to, like, try to understand, and, yes. like, you, you were really good at making, like, that circle thing, like, accordion circle. That, oh, well, yeah, that yeah. was, that was crazy. I didn't, that book is so confusing sometimes, though. I feel like it explains things way harder than it needs to be Mm -hmm. but yeah that was something like I wish I had more time to do in the summer is to just really practice things like that's what I don't know if anyone like coming into the program as a transfer and not much experience like that's what I would recommend like the summer before just like put out anything and don't be afraid because like I don't think I did that enough like technically or just like design wise Mm -hmm. but yeah that's what I think took me so long to do things because I was exploring a lot which I think it's like uh, not a bad thing it's like a win and a lose kind of thing but yeah mm. yes, eh? what about your critiques how have your how did your critique well I know how your critiques went but <laughs> can you talk about that makes it sound terrible I mean can you can you talk about your experience in critiques for fashion yeah. um since like since we're like mainly talking about like you how you focus on fashion and stuff yeah um, okay, so critique wise, I guess I hadn't had that much experience. Like, we had it at my other school, but honestly, those were like not critiques. <laughs> so, like, um, yeah, I think when it got to fashion, uh, critiques were like, usually, I feel like, went fine. I think when it comes to like people commenting, like, people do, like, don't speak it as much. I think, like, later in the semester, maybe people got more comfortable. I think I know I did. Like, at first, I was like, um but yeah I think critiques for me like yeah it's a good way for me to like hear what people are saying I think that's how like a lot of people take I like to like write things down and honestly I think that like Ben and Yoshi are actually really good critiquers like Mm -hmm. I think that they really like point out like things that really help um and so that was really nice especially like yeah towards the end when like the like professor or like Ben or Yoshi talks it really like caps things together what everyone said so that I like critiques I think they were nice and like I think some people yeah they don't talk a lot so like that's like can be like um an issue or like a struggle in terms of like you advancing but I think yeah I like I think critiques have been okay I I I don't know if I've I've had some critiques you know the like last semester the Mm -hmm. last critique that was met like before we before we went um into spring like covid yeah yeah (laughs) oh oh my god yeah but um, um but cause yeah. like, cause like I know like you 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 like voice like frustrations with um, like people maybe um, not understanding like what you're trying to say or like your yes. concept. Oh okay yes yeah, yeah going into that um, yeah so I mean I don't want to like name names, 
<laughs> but I guess we're just talking like honestly so I'm just gonna like speak my mind <laughs> so yeah I think um that's like something that has I know a lot of people have had issues with like in regards to the teachers because people are doing concepts that like that are their related experiences and that they've gone through um like whatever like access that be on like um and so when I like when I was doing a concept my final concept for spring that was something that I felt like I felt like I got pushed back on I mean I think it was a pressure on myself too but I think there was just a misunderstanding between like um me and like our design teacher and so I think and like I mean Yoshi like Ed too and Yoshi and Ben were like worked together to help me but I just think there was a disconnect there that ended up making me feel like I wasn't sure what I was doing I wasn't sure if like the concept was translating so I think that's what me and you talked about it's like I think it gets to a point where um you have to distinguish like what advice they're giving you if there's like not if there's a disconnect there that isn't actually that isn't like coming together in the end so I think I had to find like a place just to take things like maybe physically with the garment and not as much conceptually Mm -hmm. even though that's hard because like the concept is going to translate physically to the garment Mm -hmm. but I mean I guess I never really got to like finish that because of COVID yeah but yeah it was like a struggle yeah and like we also talked about how um sometimes your concept isn't supposed to be understood by everyone. Yeah, I think that's something that people just have to, like, remind themselves. Yeah, because I feel like, um, a lot of us, like, had problems with that, like, not, Mm -hmm. maybe not, maybe not a lot, but just, like, some people get really stuck on, um, like, oh, they didn't understand what I was saying, or, like, they're not understanding what I'm trying to do, because, like, they're just seeing it from, like, their gaze, of yeah. like their life um mm-hmm. and it's just like sometimes it's meant for certain communities sometimes it's meant for certain people um yeah. and that's what art is like art art shouldn't say the same thing to every person looking at it mm-hmm. unless it's like graphic design because that's like yeah. but that's like that's to like give information but like if you're making like conceptual art i don't think it's supposed to relay the same message to every single person because, like, yeah. art is so personal and art is so subjective. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly it. I think it's, like, I had to be confident in my concept in the end and, like, put my foot down where I needed to be put down kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I think that's something that, like, I think, like, students can personally work on, but also the faculty can work on at the same time. It's, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, coming years. But, yeah, it definitely had to start with me first. Like, I just had to be confident in my design because I ended up, I end up a lot of the times like Casey knows this too like during one of my fittings Casey like wrote down it's like stop questioning yourself mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like okay <laughs> so yeah I think that's like part of it too you just have to like really feel sure in what you're doing I mean obviously things are going to change but mm-hmm. just yourself as a designer and like yeah. a maker I guess in just like um like confidence in like what you want mm-hmm. um Cause like I know Grant was talking about that, like how, um, like the instructors that he had wanted him to like be, so like, make his garment so big. Oh, my hair. Uh-huh. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and like, make his garment big, and like he really likes tailored. Yeah. But he he has volume in like some areas, but he loves like, yeah. his silhouettes sometimes are like similar with like the small waist, and then like mm-hmm. something shoulder wise. Um. Yeah. He's just really good at corsets, but, like, yeah, sure. he always talked about how, like, I ha- he had to fight for, like, his designs and, like, what he wanted to mm-hmm. make and, like, prove them wrong sometimes or, like, like especially with, um, like, manipulations and things like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really, like, I feel like for fashion, it's really, I guess, to hold your own, you gotta, like, not be pushed around, like, if there is something that you want to do, like, do it. Don't let them, yeah. like swerve you I mean like mm-hmm. I mean that's what your teachers are there to push you but like yeah if they're pushing you into a direction that isn't actually beneficial for you and you like feel that yeah. it's not um then like you're wasting forty thousand dollars yeah exactly that's the truth mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah so as a transfer student do you have like a class you hated or just like yeah. um like something that you feel Maybe it doesn't even have to be a class. Is there something that you just did not like about, have like transferring into SAIC? 
Because you also mentioned how, I mean, I don't think, I don't know if this, like, has to do with the question, but, um, you also mentioned how, like, you had to figure out where you were going to live, and, like, they didn't really have dorming. Yeah. There was, there was no dorming left? Um, yeah, they were, like, I, yeah, they didn't offer me any dorming or housing. I don't know why. Um, at least from my experience. I don't know if that might be different for someone else. Like, I, maybe I didn't communicate with them enough, but that's what it, like, it sounded like there was no housing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was, it was for, cause it was weird cause I wasn't a student yet. I was yeah. under, like when I had my ID at first, it was under like continuing studies. Yeah. So I wasn't like an undergrad student fully. So I didn't get certain things cause I wasn't completely enrolled yet. Cause I hadn't paid for tuition. Cause I wasn't for sure, for sure. It was coming. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was pretty sure it was coming, but I wasn't like set and I didn't pay yet. Um, so that left me in like this gray area and I didn't get like a venture either. So I had to pay for like the monthly one which was expensive <laughs> and I didn't have a job at the time because I was only in Chicago for like a month mm-hmm. so I ended up staying in a friend's house for free which was really nice so that like, helped a lot yeah um so yeah that was just something where I was like oh that's not great but yeah that's just like it it, it made it harder for me to get into the class so mm-hmm. like I know that might be different with like other people who like are also struggling because are in that gray area because that was hard with the SAC. I know they have like policies so that like there wasn't much that could be done at the time but it, it, at the time it sounded like I had to take the class to get into the, 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 the like program. I, I guess I didn't mention that like I had like called people and I was really unsure on whether to take the class or not because I was like this is an extra like what four thousand dollars like it's just like a regular credit class um, and I was like should I even do this and so I was really confused on what to do and so someone was saying like I talked to like someone on the phone. I think it was just in like one of the advising department. She was like, "Yeah, I recommend it. Um, it like, can help you get into the program." Which I guess in the end it did with the portfolio, like in the illustrations. Mm-hmm. But I also think I could have done it on my own, maybe. But I mean, who knows? That's like a what if. But yeah, so that was just it. Just felt like that class like was like a prereq into it, which I know it sort of is like in the at school. Like people take an intro before they go into the core. Mm-hmm. So, sometimes yeah, not always but sometimes yeah yeah so yeah that's just like a mixed thing it was i still like really enjoy the class it just was figuring out like the more technical stuff like living and transportation because i lived like 45 minutes away so i would commute like because that class was every day mm-hmm. so i would commute every day but i mean it wasn't like too crazy i know people commute like way longer so it was horrible it's just something i had to get used to yeah was there anything else like about the transfer process that you didn't enjoy like were you able to transfer all of your credits oh yeah okay that was one thing um yeah that was sort of it was nice because I think out of all the schools I applied to SAC took the most credits Mm -hmm. so that was like also another factor because I guess like when I went with Lil, I took a lot of like gen eds and like so in different areas which I know SAC does but they only take like three credits for each like one class Mm -hmm. and I had multiple classes in some so that some of those just disappeared and didn't go anywhere which like felt like money going down the drain like it really did I saw and I was like oh god um but yeah they took actually a lot of classes they took one of my cal classes which I did not think they were going to take and they took some of my like um other STEM classes like I guess into the science field that they have there like in that department Mm -hmm. so they did end up taking um like quite a few of mine I ended up getting I think like 80 credits in so it left me 80 at like credits a, it was 80 wow. I think well but, yeah you are transferring it you're I'm yeah, thinking like I'm thinking like yeah yeah but that's still great but that's it was still really pretty good. I think that left me at just being a junior that's why credit wise I was a junior let me let me let me um, do that math because it's 127 yeah, and then minus 80 you have 47 credits left to get yeah yeah, so that's why I was like, and I don't have that many student credits left, which I keep, that always, like, that's something that confused me, I think, if it was anything, it was, like, credit breakdown, because, like, I guess at, like, a, a, another university, like Loyola, credit-wise, it's just, like, they don't really cap it at certain fields all the time, I think, I mean, at least at Loyola, there's, like, the studio, I mean, not, I mean, SAC, there's a studio credit that you can, like, there's an, a max for, which I think is, like, 72 or something, I yeah. think somewhere and like I guess you can go over that but then it's extra money mm-hmm. so that's but for me I didn't have any studio credit so right now I have a lot of studios left so that means like having a lot of studios per semester which seems like it's sort of overwhelming mm-hmm. which has been which is like I'm trying to figure out 
because I only have like a few art history left and like that's really it <laughs> so mm. I might just have studios left for a bit I know there's studios that are like pretty chill and like are more research based but yeah no that's something yeah that like I ended up like that trickle down to like just studios which is like good and bad I guess mm. I well since you are since you have a lot of studios left you can use that like for because that's why okay let me do like a little background like, since you, since we were required to have a, do you already have your off-campus credit? Like, did they give you that? I don't think I do, actually. I think I have to do that still. Okay. During an internship. Yeah. yeah. So, like, since, since you still have to do your internship, you can use that as, like, one of your studio credits. That's why I'm not telling them I'm doing my internship, because then they'll take away a studio that I don't yeah, want to give yeah. up. But since you have yeah. studio credits, I just, you know, like, I, might, might yeah. as well, like, because, like, I don't want, I don't want to pay them for me to do my like internship because like the internship yeah. turns into a class yeah like a studio imagine. class um mm-hmm. and I'm like Mm-mm, I don't have enough studios for that mm-hmm. um no maybe you can do that because I know yeah, there's a bunch right. of like Chicago people that. you can intern for yeah like that's okay yeah I actually forgot about that that is a good point mm-hmm. I think I might do that too like through an internship yeah, I remember, oh yeah, okay, I remember someone saying that, like, oh, I don't want to put my internship under credit, and that they do that sometimes, but then what do you do, I guess, under the off-campus credit, like, is that? Um, there's, like, cla- there, there are some classes that count towards it, okay. um, so, like, like, when you're, like, signing up for your classes, there are some classes that are an off-campus class, um, I'm also just gonna kind of try to appeal and be like I already did this um but like it might they like I talked to my advisor and they were saying how like you can appeal but they might not give you all of the off-campus credits because you need six off-campus credits so they might give you like three um so like but I feel like I, I feel like it'll be it'll work out because I'm doing my internship this Wednesday and then I have I'm trying to go to London next um Summer, so, like, if I appeal for those two things, like, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Okay, so, like, appealing it after you do it, Mm -hmm. so then you don't have to do it for Mm -hmm. credit. Because I already did it, and, like, I don't want to pay them. Mm -hmm. And, like, I also went to Parsons before, not, like, Parsons, Parsons, but, like, I I did the Parsons, like, summer college programs, which count as college Mm -hmm. credit, and, like, that is an off-campus credit, but, like, they gave it to me as a studio class. That's dumb. And I'm just like, you could have just given it to me as an off-campus. Yeah, for real. That's Who knows, I might still like appeal for that one, too. Yeah, you could. Because that was, that the person. Yeah, like, that That one, that's what I thought intro was going to be like, but it was not. Because in that, in that Parsons pre-college thing I did, I think that's, like, the best thing that Parsons has. Because I don't really know how I feel about their actual program, but, like, their summer programs, fantastic. They teach you how to pattern. <laughs> And, like, you make your own fabric, you print your own stuff, like, your teachers are amazing, the resources they have are great, um, but it was, it was five grand for three weeks, which is a little frustrating, but the one in London, it it was, like, I learned so many pattern techniques in that class, but, like, the one in London is eight weeks, and it's 5,500 pounds, which translates to like six thousand six hundred right now, mm-hmm. but I just feel like that's a little more worth six thousand like eight weeks, versus three weeks, yeah. But besides the point, let's get back to the interview. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you like the school as it is, or would you change anything about it? Mm-hmm. Especially um, as a transfer student. A... What? Especially, I know I keep saying especially as a transfer student, but I just feel like. Oh, okay. It really has, yeah, cause like, cause like you're, cause like you're coming from another school and like you're expecting yeah. something and like, is everything like what you hope for or like do mm-hmm. you think there are things that are, big issues that like need to be fixed? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I guess like, I guess coming as a transfer student, I'll start like transfer wise, mm-hmm. um, and not having much experience just pattern making, like that, was difficult i mean you know she's a great teacher but she definitely wants you to learn it on your own sort of thing so yeah which which was like a good thing i understand that like you gotta like push yourself first really before asking a lot of questions um but it was like there i feel like there's a balance there 
and sometimes you she's up more on the extreme side which like love you still but yeah that was like i think difficult i mean the, i mean maybe even with the intro class like you're saying parts that did pattern making like the intro class had no pattern making mm-hmm. like at least bambi it was just draping mm-hmm. which draping is great but that was it um and it wasn't like technical draping it was just like free flowing no nope. see parsons the summer program <laughs> the exact way how yoshi taught us to drape like with like drawing the line like the bus line i learned that in person yeah so i think that might even be a thing just for people who aren't even transfers but especially the transfer i was just like what so i mean i'm still learning i mean of course but yeah that's just some especially technical things Mm -hmm. um i think sometimes can lack but it can be like what do you call it like like replaced with like resources that you use there like in the frc there's a bunch of books there Mm -hmm. Um, I think mm, maybe other things I, an advice for transfer people would be okay I get caught into the, the the food there I'm not on the meal plan but for some reason I think I always have this thing in my mind it's like if I get the food there it's somehow cheaper than me going out and buying it no it's not true it's way more expensive it doesn't even taste that great like go somewhere off campus if you really need to that that <laughs> um but the only reason I stick like, with the sushi is because I love the sushi people, yeah, and they're so the sushi, sweet. They are really sweet, and the sushi is pretty good, actually. Yeah. I, 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 but, like, with the good. bowls, I'd rather go to Poke Poke for, like, two extra yeah. dollars than exactly. pay it. Cool. <laughs> but it's just hard <laughs> when you have, have the, the meal, meal plan. plan, yeah, and it's, like, yeah. money I'm not using, yeah. Yeah. I remember I would go, and you were, like, and you and Tari were, like, why are you here? And I'm, like, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one thing. Um... I don't know if, like, I mean, living housing-wise, I think it's also just so, like, you don't have to be transferred for that student to, like, live off campus or live on. I just live off campus, which I ended up finding housing really late, actually, because I didn't know I was, I like, I was trying to find people, but that was, like, everyone at SAC had their housing sort of already. So I had to, like, go on Facebook for that. But a lot of Facebook resources, like, just people finding apartments in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that's really nice. I don't know. I get, I think uh, if you are a transfer, do go to orientation. Like, I didn't do that. So maybe that would have helped me more. Like, that's maybe why I feel like I didn't know where I was getting into a lot when I first came. Like, I felt really confused. Mm-hmm. But I think just, like, institutionally-wise, I mean, I think that's, like, a bunch of institutions. Like, they just need, especially in the fashion department, like, I mean, this has just been coming up lately, too. Like, I know, like, um, like Adrian posted that video and I was just like and it needed to be said I mean something needs to be done about our department and just in terms of diversity and the teachers like I mean we're talking about the herb with like pushback with concepts like I think sometimes the, the, the like the teachers like obviously it's hard to like like look at everyone's topic because it's like a bunch of students but I think there are some topics like conceptually that you have a responsibility to look into to like contribute at least i Mm -hmm. think i mean that's just my i think that's my opinion like i think if like people had like looked into certain comp like the teachers had looked into certain concepts more and maybe they would have understood things better because it's also like maybe i mean also like they're like i think like my concept had some like terms in it that maybe like didn't make sense because they were like uh, terms that I guess you had to like that aren't like as like accessible they're like more academic so I think maybe when I said like certain terms the teachers didn't understand because they are like newer terms you could say mm-hmm. that like are coming up or people are vocabularizing um and I think that maybe was a disconnect but I mean I guess like we I haven't seen it a bunch like I think I came into to the department not really knowing on their like what they do in terms of like diversity in terms of models too like I haven't like seen the fashion show but, I mean, from the videos, it looks very, like, white. <laughs> That's what I see. Wait, what happened? My brother's just crying. Oh, my It's okay. probably because he wanted to open his birthday present and something. Oh. I don't know. Oh, he's three, right? Yeah, he just turned three today. Oh. <laughs> he, like, seems so much older, almost, because he just, like, is so smart. He, he just, talks like, a lot. He talks really well, like... Mm-hmm yeah i think it's the shows he watches and like the oh. games like he plays like a lot of like educational games mm-hmm. well i think he's i think he'll be okay okay he's an emotional <laughs> child as he should be he's three so. yeah he's three little baby the three-year-olds cry um you were okay, saying yeah, like but... institutional issues yeah so that i mean i don't 
I mean, also, like, I guess, like, uh, oh, what else is really an issue that I know, like, is whenever someone, like, a student wants to do something outside of, like, the standard that the SAC offers, it's really hard. Even though SAC is like, whatever you do will help you, it doesn't really happen. Like, especially when it comes to plus size, like, garments or, like, models, like, you have to find your own, mm-hmm. or it's a male model, you have to find your own. Um, They've been recently like getting better at, like, the male models, like, because, like, for the seniors, when they had their oh, yeah, um, they, thing, they brought a lot of male models, but they didn't. Okay. I saw, like, maybe two plus size, but when I say plus size, that wasn't yeah. plus size, that's a normal person. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, no, a normal person with curves. Like, plus size, it needs to be a little better. Because, yeah. like, there are people that make plus size clothes, and just, like, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know some people had like done their fittings and their drapings on plus size models, but we learned it on the standard size eight. So like, I mean, I don't think it's too hard to like translate that, but I mean, it is just an extra step you take on your own to learn like to drape on different size like mm-hmm. mannequins or like dress form. Mm-hmm. So I think it is that's... a little hard because like when you're sizing, it's very yeah. different. Like especially when you go into plus sizes, it's not like people aren't sticks. People aren't mm-hmm. always like just like this and just like smoothly this like people have curves people have i don't want to say lumps but like like we have like we have like we have like parts of our bodies that like aren't like flat yeah (laughs) so like i don't know i mean thankfully like some of the plus size mannequins we have do show that but like not everyone's body will have their body weight sit like that mannequin so yeah exactly yeah. yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's sort of a hard thing because I think that just goes with, like, dress rooms in general, the issue with those, but it's also hard to, like, make a dress from that is just going to look like everyone, like, ha- make, like, produce that. Mm-hmm. So I think, like, a solution that is, like, like what fitting off of, like, actual people, which mm-hmm. I think, think we do enough, and then when it is, it's, like, the models that are, like, really tiny, so. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, I haven't fit on, like, people enough, so I think that that's, like, some experience. I mean, I think there's, like, even technical wise like in SEC I don't think there's some things that are fleshed out enough mm-hmm. but that like this like you have to do on your own which is gonna be like with a lot of things but yeah especially when it comes to, like those things I feel like you have to like really explore it on your, by yourself so mm-hmm. I do oh I haven't mentioned this yet but I really think that um people need to learn how to um what is it like understand their machine I guess um oh. like when like we're using machines like some people will just like go on a machine it's not like doing exactly what they want so they'll move to another one I get like like I can understand sometimes when, like you're in a rush but um I don't know sometimes there are like simple fixes that you can yeah. do maybe I'll talk to like Miss Dolly and see if we can do like a poster of like quick tips of yeah like things to like keep in mind for like your machine like when you're using it Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's true. Let's move on to our next question. Let's see what is our next okay. question. <laughs> hmm. Has your view on SAAC changed since you started attending? Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yeah I mean I think that's like yeah for sure. I I don't know I think it's changed in just a way that like when I came well because I went from a university to an art school and I was like what's what is like the difference and I didn't really know like how it'd be like but it's honestly not not too different like just like school wise um I mean class wise of course it is but I think I came in like really anxious and intimidated like and just like feeling like I was in really unknown territory but now I I mean I think SEIC I know SAC more I think in terms of like the institution and how they're working Mm -hmm. but I think I also know more just people wise like you guys like in the department and like just other people I've met like student wise um which has just changed my perception of I mean you know when you meet more people it feels more homey Mm -hmm. so like that's for sure and like the fashion department is really it's pretty small so you get to know a lot of people there Mm -hmm. and so that's been really nice I think like if anything like the which, like, sounds cheesy, but if anything about SCIC, like, the best thing is the experience with the people there. I mean, because there's so many different, like, people doing different things in different departments, and it really is, like, a, like, I remember my, my research teacher saying, like, this, you don't really need to be in the school unless you're making, like, connections, because that's the most important thing, which, like, 
you know, might be like said differently from like different people, but I think it is really important because mm-hmm. so many people are in different mediums and like that you that like just all they all mesh together eventually. I feel like mm-hmm. if you want to like do mixed things and mixed media, and I think that's just like been the best thing of like just seeing all the different like arts that people are doing and like that I've really never had like that much witness to because I haven't seen like been to a, a school or university like with that much like medium so that's been like yeah that's mm. probably my change of view I guess I don't know if that makes sense but yeah. Mm. yeah well do you have I guess to finish do you have any um like last little tidbits of advice for people coming or looking at the mm-hmm. school um don't be afraid to ask questions because I was especially when it came to just learning the printer like simplest things like that but yeah just don't be afraid to go up to anyone and be like hey um and to be sure in yourself and I mean that always comes with like time but confident as like the creator that you are and like making connections with people because that's going to be like the best thing at SEIC um and voicing your concerns like I think that if there's an issue that you have in any department that should just be said out loud and like people are probably going to feel like similar things to you too so it's like working together with students because the students run the school and so <laughs> basically like to an extent yeah um, to an yeah, not all of it but I mean the students the faculty and the staff mm-hmm. people that are like working to keep the school running are running it and so like the people that are doing that like um like communicating with them like without um Dolly and Julie so like we wouldn't have the department they run the fashion department like they do so much so mm-hmm. it's like yeah making connections to people and just communicating is always going to be number one <laughs> mm-hmm. oh well thank you you had great yeah. answers i feel like you provided yeah. a nice insight <sighs> well yeah, let's wave goodbye to the potential yeah. people bye people <laughs> good luck with everything you'll figure it out <laughs> oh that's cute yes <laughs> yes, they will. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>